jump right back into it. Hey YouTubes, I'm Grimwit. This is Since, a cyberpunk ghost story. And we have an answer to the code in the doctor's office. And it is an answer. It's one that works. There is a, quote, reason, end quote, behind it. I do not recall what the code was, but I now know how to figure out the code. You'll love this because it makes... <sighs> okay, let's go. All right. Here's what you gotta do. The x-ray is the answer, but the numbers are not in order. <sighs> so, you have to randomly put these four digits into the code, 7152, until you get the correct order. So let's try, what was it? Let's try one, five, two, seven. No, let's try. Let's try one, two, five, seven. Let's try five, seven, one, two. Let's try one, two, five. No, I just did. We might just lock this thing out. How many different combinations of this does there? And I don't remember what the uh, the thing was. What if it's five two seven one? What if it's random? Like, I'm not wrong, right? That's how that guy did it earlier. Okay, maybe actually I'm thinking of this wrong way. Maybe the 5-2 is normal. How many other combinations are there? So I'm going willy-nilly, right? I mean, I could write down all the different orders. Take a look at something real quick. It's probably nothing.
So what what did he put in? I, don't know. I guess that's one of the combinations I haven't I just haven't done yet. Really? Hang on. It might be random after all. <sighs> yeah, it's random. Because the number that he put in was 1572. And I just did that one, right? Did I do that one? Oh, Perfect. Okay. <laughs> so that's technically, that's what I'm supposed to do, except I'm not supposed to look at some guy who's already done it before. Too easy. Yes, JP. Too easy. Let's get in this thing. What the hell? Oh god, it stinks. What are these frames hanging from the ceiling? Are they not skin? And oh, they're tattoos. See, I could have used that hook right there earlier to grab the thermometer. A light switch. Sure, let's flip the switch. That was a very useful switch. Looks like human skin framed in some kind of resin or plexiglass. The tattoo is of a black dragon. It's very similar to the others in this room. The table is covered in dried blood and this feels like the best place to do an exorcism. This room is clearly spirit, a spirit's connection point. I just need to burn something from Dr. Leanne's in effigy. No! Uh, no! Now I'll have to come back. Maybe I can stall him somewhere outside the apartment. Oh, okay. Um, hi. Uh, I think I'm dead. Stay away! Okay, I just lost one of my bracelets. Also, do I have anything of his? What did I steal? I have medical gloves. Oh, I have an ID as well. That would probably work. I should turn back. I have a feeling this is the wrong way. What? Okay, it's not, le it's, I guess it's uh, at least, I don't have to press X to not die. What was that? Oh, hey, what's up there, dude? Okay, so that didn't work. Guess I'm not stalling you there. Oh no, I'm dead again. Huh. So, alright. At least it's a different kind of game. You. Now I've danced around for so long, I'm trying to remember what all I've done. Okay, I've got this stuff, which was basically the last thing I had done before. So I guess going to the doctor's office is the next thing I do. But in order to do that, I need to get something of his to burn. 
I have one Jade Bangle. I thought I had two. Wait a second, it shows me having two up in the top left corner. Ah. Okay, let's see what we can do here. What was it? One five seven two. Perfect. All right. What the hell got us things through the flames? And blah 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 blah. I see a jade bangle. I can't carry more right now. I guess we'll flip on the lights. Then we can take a look at this. Did you see that? That was pretty good. Let's see if he does it again. Nope, looks like he won't. Covered of luck, and this is the best place to do an exorcism. Just need to burn something of lime in effigy. Suddenly, oh no! Oh, no. Evil no. doctor. No. And it's not allowing. Really? You're not allowing me to escape? Okay, I guess that was the only way to escape. Uh, it says here I have two jade bangles still. Did uh, did I lose one? No, I, I now have two jade bagels. I, okay. Well, wait a second, wait a second. Better not go in there. So, hmm. Hmm. Okay, I should turn back. Okay, so I'm not supposed to go that way. So, we gotta go this way. Huh. Alright. What was that? So we have two spirits, right? And we gotta figure out something. Here's this guy right here. Hi. <laughs> Uh, seriously? The only place to hide here is to not back there. What? I have no clue what the fuck. Alright, let's try and get past you again. Nope, that's death trap. Uh, hmm. Uh, B? I have dodged. But now I can't get past him, so pardon me. Uh, I'm supposed to do something with this guy. Ah, I've dodged! Um, resume. Ha have some rice. I no, never mind, I can't. Okay, I dodged anyway. So, um. No, no, he's got me. Alright. Alright, I'm... Hmm. Hmm. So let me see. What can I do over here? So I can't open this door. I can't get past this, right? Because of the evil spirit. What was that? And I, that's a trap, right? And I can't... Oh, that's weird. What? Why is that an option? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm pressing up and down and it's on my, uh, on my control stick and it's causing it to flip out. So, I mean, we have rice, right? And the rice is meant to stall. That's what I thought was going to happen is I was going to hit him with some warding rice.
but like I don't get the option. All I have is this sword. Ah, oh, that was a close one. Okay, let's try this again and just see what we can do here. Perfect. Wow. Do I need the light on? I'm gonna turn the light on anyway. No, nope. no, nope, doesn't look like it. So okay. So uh. here's the killer thing. In order to leave the room, oh, no. I have to sneak no. past him. Hey, what's up, dude? <laughs> Hi again. Yeah, you cannot leave the room without using a jade bangle. Which I guess is why one was on the table over there. <laughs> My book is missing. There's something in the sink. Don't mind me, just looking around your house while you're haunting the hallways waiting for me. Seeing if I missed anything, one, an effigy to burn. Change of dench, I'm sure I'll figure that out in time. So, okay, okay. We're being kind of railroaded, but I don't know if I have what I need. Well, I hope I do. But I'm not sure what to do here. Hey, wait, what happens if I go this way? No. This is the wrong way. So I'm trying to distract him, yeah? Can't do anything with this door anymore. This door is off limits. Okay, as soon as I turn down, down this way, he's going to show up. So now, what do I do? Well, that wasn't very fair. Oh, there goes the other one. Man, I can't really lead him over here, right? Hey, buddy, come over here. Come a little closer. Get into this hair stuff. So you can only dodge him like three or four times before he just wins. Huh. I don't know. What do we got? Because usually, up until now, we've been given, like, um... We've been given a prompt to use our items. Like, we can't... I can't use an item from my inventory. That's not how this game works. And I haven't seen a prompt to use any items. So, he chases from the left, but on the far right is a death trap. Huh. So before I look up an answer, let, let me see. 
Um, offerings and joysticks aren't going to settle this guy down. I have multiple jade bangles. I'm not sure why I still have the walk in my pocket. Nothing's standing out. I don't see any other clues of what I can do here. What was that? Huh. Okay, death trap, dead ahead. There's a picture here. There's a door here, which I can't seem to open because the uh, doorknob's broken. Ew. Apparently, I am supposed to confront him over here. Why? What's over here that's special? Once he's over here, I can't leave the area until I've dealt with him. The only thing here is this hair. Will that even catch a ghost? And I don't... Uh, once again, I'm not getting any, like, prompts. Okay, let's try it one more time, and let's see how close we can get to that hair without dying. happen if I just take a look at the table. Uh. Alright, he shows up. Can't skip past no. this scene for some reason. Uh, no! Can't do anything. Yep. Fast forward. Break a bangle. Leave the apartment. Head to the right. Ooh. Nope. Still broken. Jump in here. And he should be behind me, but I don't want to get too far over to the right. Yeah? Okay, I've just lost another bangle. Okay, there goes the other bangle. And I'm dead. Huh. No prompts. No options to do anything. Do I just not have the right item? No, I've been all over this apartment. She doesn't pick up, May doesn't pick up items unless she knows she needs that item. And I've like looked at all the prompts. Even when she knows she needs an item, you don't necessarily know. But the, the, the point is, is she would not, she would not pick up anything unless she knew she needed it. And I've already been through the apartment after she knew she needed something to get rid of uh, the doctor's ghost. Um, I don't know.
This game is frustrating me. This game is frustrating, period. Like, this is the kind... Hmm. <sighs> Some of the puzzles in this remind me very much of Silvio, where the answers were so ridiculous that I just stopped playing. You know, I will say something before I before I give up and take another look at that walkthrough. You? The um the Daishi Daoshi had uh, said that on the second floor, I think, there are demons. And I'm wondering if I can test out the sword and see if there's something special about that. Or it was this floor, the third floor, that there are supposedly demons to play. Let's go play with demons. Let's see what we can do here. We might learn something about how to defeat the good doctor. My guess is the scene of the crime is where they're going to be. So let's check that place out. Oh? Um. We've already been through this. Okay. Do, do I have more eyes and ears? In my, yes, I do. I have eyes and ears back in my inventory. I, I guess I'll put it back in the body. Did I get rid of the eyes and ears? No, nope, they're still there. So, cool. I've got a body part in my pocket. And no monsters to fight. No prompts in here. Kind of hoped I would be able to talk to the uh, the glowing balls of light. Just like, hey, how you doing? So, uh, what's up, man? You, uh... You like any of this new music kids are listening to these days? How about that sports team? Wait a second. My reflection isn't swinging a sword. I was hoping to swing the sword while I was in the room, but I didn't get the option. Uh, 
All right. Give me a second. Let me see if I can get a clue from this uh, walkthrough. Wait, what? So, okay. Okay. I'm not entirely certain how this is happening. Hey, Chuck. Can't stay long. What are we watching? We're watching since a cyberpunk uh, ghost story. And the reason why I'm on pause like this is because I was looking up a walkthrough. There's only one walkthrough. Let's get to the second floor, I guess. Or no, 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 let's get to the third floor. And I think what I need to... So what I need to do is I need the dodgeball. Do I have the dodgeball even? Yes, I do. I have the dodgeball. So, on this particular floor, there is a trap to be set off. And the only way that you can actually set off the trap without being near it is with the dodgeball. But I've got a little issue. Namely, there's no prompt to use the dodgeball. But that's how you're supposed to take care of the evil doctor. What was that? Oh my god. It's never done that. It's never given me the option to get a prompt without a prompt. Awesome. I didn't know they made vests that don't cover the chest. Oh, yes. This is May, and her jiggle physics are real. The door is actually moving, and I can't feel air. The door is actually moving, and I can feel airflow from inside, but the hair is covering it. It's too thick. <sighs> Maybe we can cut the hair with something. I, I literally have a sword. <sighs> There's a, there's a sword, it cuts through hair, it cuts through ghosts, it cuts through all kinds of shit. Mm. Alright, let's move on. Elevator isn't working, alright, that's fine. Let's try this key. I have a key? Like, okay man. Japanese? Mariko, she must have set the traps. Do we know a Mariko? A pile of mail. Most of them are nasty hate mails, calling Mariko a liar. Or worse, she must have been a local gossip. This last one, though. You fucking leech, father yeep, investing in a used and tossed aside horror like you is a joke. Oh, I see fan letters. Cool. I get these two in email all the time. Comments, too. Yeah, YouTube, what can you do? It will come back to bite him sooner or later. This last one is salty. Hey, babe, my client loved my hair, my hair last weekend. Can't wait to see what you do tomorrow. By the way, convince Lamp Post to come to move, to move night. Oh, movie night. This week, he'll also be too shy to talk to me, but he will listen to you, Sally. There's a strange and thick strand of hair that's blocking off the kitchen. Maybe I can find something to cut it from a distance. 
I don't want to risk triggering another trap. I have a sword. Desk covered in business documents and tax forms. I guess I missed the cyberpunk art. Oh, her eyes are cybernetic. And her shoes glow. Welcome to the future. The desk is covered in business and document tax forms. There's also several files from a uh, Takamine Law Associates. They all refer to a divorce, but the only name I can see is Mariko ok Okuda. Nothing else is particularly interesting, but the flying cat filing cabinet has one drawer exposed. There's an ornamental hairpin with a spider lily motif. Ooh. Let's grab that. Oh, that's always a good thing you want hung on your wall. There's a rice paper divider here, but the hair is keeping me from moving it. I'll need to cut the hair to move the divider. I have a sword. My five-year-old has been, has the same light up shoes. You know what I thought of his shoes when I saw these, but I didn't say anything. The future it truly is now. The door is jammed probably with hair. It's most likely the bathroom anyway. And Okiku doll, these things creep me out, even though I collect Halo Raisin figures. What? Is that Holo Raisin figures? or hmm. Old dolls are just terrifying. There's also some Joss sticks here. Hey, Joss sticks. The door is covered with an intricate pattern of hair strands. I have a feeling this is a trap. I could probably cut the strands in a certain order to safely disarm the trap. Okay, that's that. So, all right, I did get something out of this, though. Uh, your eye hairpin. I have an ornate hairpin with a spider lily motif, and I've seen a lock that covers that, so... Uh, I guess let's keep going this way. This door isn't locked, but I can't push it open. It may be blocked by something on the inside. Like, I don't know, hair? Are you a stylist? You know what? Maybe. May has some interesting bits about her, I guess. And uh, I've got some theories. I think when she was young, she was in an accident that scarred her face and made her lose her eyes. Now, she has some family ties to this highfalutin corporation. This, again, is a guess. I don't have any anything telling me this. I'm just guessing. Because her eyes are expensive. She has new cyber eyes. And, oh yes, she sees ghosts. This is not a well-designed game. It Like, a lot of effort went into it, and I don't want to belittle that. But... This re is really frustrating. The cage is locked with a unique sp spider lily padlock. Hey, I have a hairpin like that. Okay, let's take a look. It's an ornate box with the same spider lily padlock under it and an antique comb. Okay, open box, take comb. Ooh, there's a note. Let's read the note. There's a letter on top of the box's content. Mariko, I pray you can forgive me and your father someday. I never wanted this to be our fate, but I know how important the o Okuda name is. Or you know. Your father will never see past the, that responsibility. Please accept this gift and never forget that I will never stop loving you as my one and only daughter, mother. Aww. Oh, hey, there's a pair of fancy scissors carefully placed in silk. They look like hairstylist shears. Well, I mean, they're not a sword, but it'll do. So I have an ornate comb, a uh, nearly ancient hair comb, and hair scissors. Very ornate shears for a stylist. These were clearly made by a master craftsman. There's even some kanji etched into the side of the blade, though many years of use and decay have made the kanji illegible. So these aren't new shears. 
How many uh, Betamax tapes do I have? Just one. Nah, not gonna do it. So, now I'm a stylist. I have the shears to prove it. At least we're making progress. Good lord, I went a long time without making any kind of progress. It was frustrating, but this, this I can deal with. Yes, let's use scissors here. There we go. Finally, a simple way to get to the next floor. But I don't want to do that yet. Oh, I can't. I have to cut hair from far away. I need to cut the hair with the divider. Use scissors, scissors. Okay. Now to take the next risk. Move the divider. Their steps sounds like gunshots. It's it's the cyberpunk future. Huh. An ornate kimono trunk. This looks like the kimono that Mariko wore in the picture. What pictures? I love these pictures. It must have been very important to her. Steal it. I recognize that sound. Oh! Ah... I, something cut my leg. She's toying with me. Let's give it a shot. I need to be careful, though. Cut run one wrong wire. Why would I know? Let's cut the right wire. And dead. So, yay, death. Getting real sick of this game. So here's the thing. Like, I recognize that they put in a lot of work into this game. They clearly had a vision, a particular vision that they wanted to do. And, yeah, I can't... I can't shake that. I can't shake that. But there are some flaws to the game that are starting to get under my skin. How about the left side? Nope. I wonder if th this, for example, I would believe that this is what I'm supposed to do. Is to die over and over again until I get the right, the correct hair. Let's try the so I tried the left side. Let's go with the top left. Phew, that did it. Why would I know? Okay. Let's go with the top right. All right, there is no way. There must be something that tells me what order that goes in. So I'm going to stop trying until I can figure out what tells me that. 
Unless I'm honestly supposed to die over and over again, which, after that last combination lock, I wouldn't doubt it. So we got two things. We have a kimono and a kimono box. And it's one of those situations where I don't know what I need to survive this. <laughs> Wish I could skip this scene. But now that I know this is here, let's leave and see if we can't get uh, the, hmm? Oh. And there's an offering cup and an open envelope with a letter on the table. Mariko, I'm more than happy to invest in your business. You've done well for yourself, even though, even though such difficulty over the last two years. I've always seen great potential in you to be the leader in our district. I am very proud of you. I hope you enjoy this gift. It belonged to my mother. If there's anything else I can do for you, please come and see me. Yip Wai Hong. Huh. That's actually kind of sweet. Okay, yeah, no, I'm going to have to deal with that. With an offering cup, I could just make an offering and try to settle her soul. I suspect it's not that easy. Also, I want to see what happens. Let's try one more thing before I go upstairs. use the quick save but also let's see if we can't pit this guy and Japanese hair get lady against the same thing one five seven two I think is the right one yep perfect okay let's go on let's flip on the lights There we go, spooky stuff. Look at the table. Evil doctor with a drill, which everybody knows is standard surgical no. equipment. Try to leave, can't, have to wait. He attacks. Thankfully, I, blissfully, I can skip that. Zip over here. Run over here. You, you over here? Yep, yep, there you are. Okay, good. It's jam ship with all the hair growing over the doorknobs. Oh, is that not the right one? Well, shit. Okay, there goes another bangle. Uh, this feels like a trap. Is this a trap? What? Gotta go. All right, I'll see you later, Charlie. I trapped him in the elevator. Okay, I gotta admit, that's pretty clever. I didn't think of that. Now let's go back to his place and try to exercise him. Give me a little aerobics. wonder how long before that joke stops being funny. Maybe never. <laughs> Oh yeah, and a jade bangle. There we go. Need to hurry before he comes back. Burn effigy. Enough! I... I 
did it. I doubt tonight will go get any easier from here on out, but I should cel I shouldn't celebrate yet. Bullshit! Celebrate! Celebrate everything. Oh, and uh wait, is, what? It went off again. Dr. Lies drill, I can use this to open the stairwell in the far end of the hall. I think I've already done that with scissors. What far end of the hall? There are two of them. Huh. So, okay. That worked out pretty well. I didn't get a Betamax tape for my trouble, but I did get, like, a drill. Huh. Ah. So... I opened up one stairwell with scissors. Maybe she's talking about this door right here. No? Huh. Okay. Let's go upstairs, I guess. Okay, I thought that was the door that she was talking about. I guess not. Let's try going to the very, very end. Although she said stairwell. No? And 405, this is the Japanese room, yeah? Yeah, this is the Japanese room. Okay. I don't want to deal with this yet. Ah, of course the door doesn't feel locked. It's more like a bar is stuck. Maybe I can find a way to destroy the whole lock. I'm positive this is the way up. Use drill. Now let's see what happens up there. Of course there's no easy way down. So I hit a checkpoint, whatever that means. I heard something earlier. What was that? Oh, it's a cat. I like cats. You like cats. We all like cats. You say you don't like cats, but trust me, you like them. You like them. It's an offering cup and a joysticks. Hmm. That looks dangerous over there. Why did they cement over this? Well, I mean, we gotta go check on the cat. Still no luck on the elevator. Uh, make that two cats. Hi. Hello, kitties. Maybe the flash might. Maybe the flash from my camera will scare them away. Nope. I mean, like. What if I just walk over to him? Hi. I enjoy cat company. Can I pet you? There are feral cats seemingly guarding the door. I should be careful not to upset them. Alright, well let's leave that for now and see what's on past them. Oh, we can just go over here. That's cool too. Am I, am I hearing a dog panting? Just a the bathroom. There are a few business cards from local plastic surgeons and a bunch of notes with dates and names written on them. Only one note stands out. A list of different herbs and roots with numbers next to them. Uh, okay, well... What's that about? Ugh. Herb list. I can't read that. Oh, I don't have to. There's a translation below. Uh, Jinzink turmeric. Gankao mahuang. Tang 
uh, Kuei, Ginger, Huang Lian, uh, Fenugreek, Fenugreek, and Dong Kuai. Huh. And they all have gold marks next to them for some reason. Maybe that means grams. Five grams, two grams, nine grams, one grams, three grams, six grams, four grams, seven grams. I smell a combination lock. Large medicine cabinet. Only a few drawers are labeled. The cupboard is locked with some kind of mechanism. Let's check the drawers. Ah, uh, the drawers are actually buttons. Maybe there's a sequence that will unlock the cabinet. Huh. There's a steel kettle on the table with a very nice tea set. Well, I'm going to need that, but I don't know how to get it yet, because I need to know what I need it for first. Ah, kleptomania is so much easier when you just take everything. Mm. A dream board. It's covered in an image of erotic models. Most of them seem to have had, no cos had cosmetic surgery. There are various handwritten notes like this shape and this size. There are also a few bottles of painkillers. This one must have gotten some work done. Amazing that it's gotten so much easier and common these days. That's why everybody's got uh, G size. Even Maiko wants to make a few adjustments. The only thing stopping her from being able to borrow m my tops is her fear of the doctor. You're. Huh. My, Maiko probably has, like, a normal set of breasts, unlike the rest of the world. So she's probably living in a world where everybody thinks, oh, you must be a kid. Like, what? How, how, how do you know? You're a B cup. <laughs> that might be over the line, but I still stand by that joke. Bookshelf is filled with fashion magazines, erotica, and books on herbal medicine. There's also some highly co collectible Amy dolls. These are probably worth a lot of money now. Michael used to love these things. Too bad the company recently went out of business after moving away from the objectified look that Amy had for over 100 years. Turns out little girls who want to play with Amy dolls don't want to play with frumpy and realistic versions of Amy. Ah, I get it. That's topical. I was always more into the man's robots and computers, but I still have a fond memories of playing with dolls with Maiko. I have a patio. And a bedroom. You know what? Let's put a stop here. So we made some breakthrough. Even though it's it was hard going these last couple of episodes. At least we've got some new comment to swim around in. Oh. Beg my pardon. Um, yeah, I guess we'll be right back. <laughs>